Tonight we are here at the Hilton Colombo at the Grand Ballroom to celebrate something amazing and it is a milestone to many many students tonight here at the Ramani Sun Silk Hair and Beauty Academy celebrating 13 years already. So let's go find out what the show is going to look like and uh, speak to some of the guests in there. I'm Tasha Sejal and you are watching High Events. <laughs> Ramani Fernando Sunset Care and Beauty Academy has for the past 13 years been training, educating and empowering a lot of young Sri Lankan boys and girls, giving them the confidence, the know-how and the expertise to go out there and set up their own businesses as self-employed entrepreneurs. And that's why we're here today to enjoy, to celebrate 13 years of the Ramani Fernando Sunset Care and Beauty Academy. But having said that, we'd like you to enjoy what to see you on stage right now. Please welcome Nadro. First, thank all of you for being here today and for supporting this event. Students, a graduation in your chosen field marks a milestone in your career. It is a very significant day in your life. We are proud that so many of you are now ready, armed with the fundamentals, to embark on a career of hair and beauty. It is not only a profession which will pave the way to success, but also a glamorous and an enjoyable one. What more could you ask when you get paid for indulging in your hobby? We at Ramani Fernando Academy are blessed that we have a partner in Unilever, which leads the way in hair and beauty products and understands everything about them. 
We have been associated with Unilever for many years and have seen firsthand the enormous contribution that the company has made to uplift the hair and beauty industry in Sri Lanka to what it is today. The social responsibility program to sponsor the education of talented youth in hairdressing is unique and continues to strengthen the industry year in, year out. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ramani Fernando Sunsilk Hair and Beauty Academy graduation and the Hair Design Grand Championship Hair Art 2018. Today is a day of recognition on behalf of the Ramani Fernando Sunsilk Hair and Beauty Academy. It is my pleasure to welcome all of you today as we acknowledge the success and achievements of this year's graduating students. It is with great pleasure and satisfaction that I have seen the students developing their skills and confidence. I hope that today will be an occasion that you remember fondly for the rest of your lives. So my interaction with uh, Ramani Fernando uh, Sunset Care Academy uh, goes back 13 years. I was a junior account executive and the company I was working at that time, uh, J. Walter Thompson, was called on to design the first academy. I don't know whether Ramani or Lucky remembers this. I'm sure you can't remember me. Um, but since then, uh, in the last 13 years, I've periodically come into the coming to many graduations like this, and I've seen the academy grow from strength to strength. I believe it is a testament to you, Ramani, uh, for, uh, a testament to your vision, and uh, to you, Lucky, uh, for your skill and competency in putting this fantastic show year on year for the last 13 years. Unilever as a company, uh, we believe in the creed of doing well by doing good. Not only do we persist uh, in putting the best products out in the market. We try to help people uplift their livelihoods. And this event is uh, one way that we do this consistently. We build purpose into the brands that we operate. You need to save lots of your applause. From this point onwards, we start the presentation of certificates I'd like to invite on stage Ramani Fernando herself, Lucky Leonagala and Munaza Rafik, the senior brand manager, Sunsilk Unilever Sri Lanka, ladies and gentlemen. Now starts all those certificates for these young men and women who are graduating today. And right now I'm with Ramani Fernando. Ramani, how are you tonight? Coming into 13 years, how, I bet it's such a proud moment. How are you feeling? 
Well, it's been a great 13 years, you know, involved in the, in the academy because it's something that I want to give back, you know, so because I'm in it like for the last 40 years, so it's, it's, it's time that I give back. So this is a good opportunity. So, and I feel so proud today when I see this amazing work, I, I'm sure you saw it all. Uh, done by the students, you know, the creative lot, they work so hard. And uh, those six designs that came out, I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to be a judge there because it was, I think, it was very difficult judging it. So I'm really proud that, you know, kids like this have done so much. Uh, yeah. Sure, and it was an amazing show. Everything that came up to this point, uh, how has the process been? Well, um, it's been hard challenging and we are working with Seneca De Silva who is a perfectionist you know so it's it's not easy working with him because he just doesn't take anything you know he, you have to be on the ball and just perfect with what you do so it's very hard because in the sense um, you know I mean uh, we are also very busy in the salons with brides and all that still have to come uh, and end of the day you know today now I'm very happy that is all done and satisfied. Yeah. And now you can just relax for the moment. What do you have in store for 2019? What are you most looking forward to? Well, every day is a challenge. I don't have you know big things I'm looking forward to because I think in our job every day is a challenge. You know, it's something different. You meet different people, you know, dress in different brides and so many shows coming up. Uh, tomorrow we have another fashion show to do. So it's like it's non-stop. You have no time to think of the future that much. You know, it's like <laughs> happening every day like you know with Ajay right now Ajay how are you very well thank you and what did you think about the show tonight I must say that I feel uh, most out of place in a hair show <laughs> yeah you see that right so but yeah the show was excellent yeah and uh, and it keeps getting better you know the, I thought the creations were really good the scorpion and the fire dance and everything I think well done and what do you think about you know uh, Ramani Fernando and Sun Silk celebrating like 13 years in a row now She's a legend, you know, she's done this time and again and, and she'll keep going on for a legacy, you know, what a legacy. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm with Nelum right now who is looking very gorgeous. How are you Nelum? Good, very good, thank you. And how is um, the show tonight? It was amazing. As always, Rami's shows are fabulous and you know, I was anyway looking forward to something greater than what she has put out last year and uh, she doesn't fail to surprise. Yeah, for sure, what was your favorite part of the show? Um, I think I like the fantasy section. It was. Uh, there's at least about, I think all of them deserve to win. I mean, it was just amazing stuff, you know. Uh, the creativity, the, the colors, the, the combination of hair technique and all that was just absolutely so much to grasp. And one last question, let me know what you are wearing tonight. Um, the dress is forever new. Um, yeah, <laughs> and anything else. <laughs> Contestant number one is Nitya Deshani, who presents very creative, glorious, the mystery of fire. The beauty of the scorpion, contestant number two.
And now here's contestant number three, Deborah Jasinger. She presents the mythological wonder of the griffin. We have our next cont uh, contestant, number four, Zahen Zumaya, who presents an, a tribute to the heavens, an exciting hair design entitled Golden Goddess. Our next contestant, Manti Nimaya de Silva, selects a theme from Sri Lankan tradition, the deep south of our country, handcrafted in here. This is the Nagaraksha mask. Finally, we have Amanda Evangeline Vishwanath presenting a design from ancient Greek mythology, the depths of the Mediterranean Sea. And this is her, Medusa. deliberate on which one the winner is going to be. So in the meantime, we have a related spot of entertainment, a creative entertainment in keeping with our theme. We feature Annie performing on fire. She's just a girl and she's on fire. Hotter than a fantasy. Lonely like a highway. She's living in a world and it's on fire. Catastrophe, but she knows she can fly away. Oh, she got both feet on the ground and she's burning it down. Oh, she got her head in the clouds and she's not backing down. We have in this section exclusive creative 
fashion creations by Aslam Hussein, the house of GBs. All clothes designed and shoes specially created, designed by Aslam Hussein. The guy needs an introduction, the famous Aslam Hussein of GBs, has given his expertise and his creative flair towards this section, Haute Couture 2018. And choreography, of course, by the maestro Seneca de Silva. We present Amazing Grace. For a very special presentation now, to say thank you to a very special young man who's been a very close friend of Ramoni Fernando, the Salon and the Academy, who's been, partner, been partnering with her for a long, long time. Nice, charming young gentleman. I'm talking of Aslam Hussein, of course, the guy whose fabulous clothes you saw on stage here, especially created for this section, Amazing Greys, the pun on the word greys, as you see, and the clothes, shoes also created for the section. Of course, he's in black and white, of course, but Aslam Hussein. Thank you very much for your support, your partnering with Ramani Fernando, the Salon and the Academy. The young man from GB's, Aslam Hussein. These are for the second runners-up and the first runners-up in these uh, respective following categories. Diploma in hairdressing, second runner-up and first runner-up. Colombo hairdressing batch one. Second runner-up, Rukshala Mihiri. First runner-up, Sanduni Anuradha. Colombo, hairdressing, batch two. Second runner up, Rajivani Kahandavala. And first runner up, batch two, Colombo, hairdressing, Roshini Jayakodi. Where is the applause, ladies and gentlemen? Second runners up, first runners up here, all of them. Match three, Colombo hairdressing. Second runner up, Dilhani Priyadarshani.
batch 3 colombo hairdressing first run drop madusha priyadarshini hairdressing colombo batch 4 the second run drop is fatima basila sarap Batch 4, hairdressing, Colombo. The first round drop is Kalpani Gitamali. Batch 1, Candy, hairdressing. Second round drop, Dilini Mendes. Batch 1, Candy Hairdressing. The first round drop is Anisha Jitmi Vijay Bandara. Diploma in Beauty Therapy. Second and first runners up, Colombo Batch 1, Beauty Therapy. The second round drop is WPN Sudarshini. And the first round drop, Batch 1, Colombo Beauty Therapy, Salome Fernando. Salome Fernando, first round drop, Colombo Batch 1, Beauty Therapy. Batch 2, Colombo Beauty Therapy, second round drop, Naza Smalevich Gur. Daza Smalevich Gur, second round drop, batch two, Beauty Therapy Colombo. And the first round drop here is Shakusia Abdullah, the first round drop, batch two, Colombo Beauty Therapy. Batch four, Colombo Beauty Therapy. The second round drop is SYE Leonage. The first round up, Dilini Rashanti Fernando. I'd like to, at this point of time, thank Mihira. Thank you very much indeed for doing us the honors there. Thank you very much to Mr. Mihira Kulatunga. And we continue now with more to come. I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Seneca de Silva the maestro who's worked a lot backstage and behind the scenes. I'd like to also invite Ramona Navaratna Raja Muthukumaran on stage, the administrative manager of Ramani Fonera Training, to present a token of appreciation to Seneca de Silva, tonight's choreographer and fashion designer. Seneca de Silva, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's choreographer and fashion designer. The man needs no introduction at all. We all know him for his creativity, for his everything, his flair, his along, all that. This is Seneca de Silva. A lot of creativity backstage. I'm with Seneca de Silva right now. How are you, sir? I'm fine. A bit tired, but fine. And how's everything leading up to the process? I think we have, uh, the students worked hard and we also, I mean, I'm a perfectionist, so it's not easy working with me. But if you don't aspire to take these shows to a different uh, standard, uh, well, it takes a lot of work. Sure, it must feel amazing. I mean, having 13 years in a row. Yeah, and it's very exhilar exhilarating to work with these students and to guide them, and you know, to take them on a journey like that and open their imagination to uh, and take them to another level. Was it everything you expected tonight? Yes, I think they all deserved uh, the places they got. And I, I'm so glad to see these young stylists becoming uh, an entrepreneur and to make a name for themselves and go beyond what we have done today. What are you most looking forward to the new year, 2019? Well, there are, I mean, lots of shows. Uh, tomorrow, so I'm doing a show. So, uh, there is something always happening in the uh, yeah, boards. 
I'm with Aslam Hussein, the one and only right now. And uh, how are you, Aslam? How was tonight? Oh, it was uh, amazing. Uh, very happy. Did a wonderful show. And speaking of amazing, your collection, Amazing Greys, amazing by the way. And uh, you know, how was the process? Uh, it was uh, it was really hard actually with the uh, busy schedule. Um, it was uh, really fantastic. I did a wonderful uh, collection. What are you most looking forward to with the year 2019? Uh, Colorbo Fashion Week is coming. Uh, um, this time I really wanted to do something very different. Uh, that was the, I'll be doing so many brides. Uh, all my brides will be like uh, unique brides. Okay. I'm with Jared right now. Jared, how's your evening? It's been fabulous. It's been a lovely, lovely evening. And tell us about how you feel uh, about Ramani Fernando, you know, coming 13 years in already. Oh, fantastic. I think uh, she's, the strength of the hairdressers in Sri Lanka. She's done a fabulous job and she's taught so many young people. I'm very proud to judge for her tonight. And obviously you were in the judging panel. How was it up there? I mean, seeing it all up close, was it a difficult choice? It was very difficult because there was four, I think four judges and all of us had different, a little bit different, but we managed to somehow come to a compromise and uh, choose the winner. It wasn't easy. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you look amazing, as always, Thank head you. to toe. Tell us what you're wearing. Uh, my shirt is a, it's called a pussy shirt from London. That's what it's called, okay. from London. The sarong is from uh, Yoland. The shoes from London. The hat, what am I wearing, just from Australia. I'm standing next to Ramsey right now. Ramsey, how was your evening? Uh, it was great because, uh, as usual, I come for all her graduations. And since I'm with the hair trade, it was so exciting, so nice. And what is nice is like, see, the new people who are graduating. The time that we started, don't ask me how long. We never had things like this. So I think it's a very good thing for young people because, see, it's professional training and so it's good and the thing is this i think that lots of people want to do hairdressing and beauty sometimes i wonder whether what the demand is see they think that they can make a lot of money but it's a good and bad you know so it depends on whether you like your work and i think it's a good thing for people like ladies sometimes they can learn you know the beauty trade and see it's a job that they don't have to work in a salon you're absolutely right, and it's it's always evolving. There's so many changes, and uh, now what do you think about uh, you know Ramani Sun Silk Hair and Beauty Academy coming into 13 years now? So as I said, it's a great thing because see, professional training is very important. As you say, you know, learning uh, techniques, basics, it's very very important. See, you can't just be a hairdresser overnight. See, the time that we started, it was very difficult. And it was an industry where I'm male-oriented, like they didn't want to teach me. So I think the present people are very lucky and the men have definitely come out of their shells. And I think there are a lot of male hairdressers also in the trade who are designers or whatever it is. It's now time for us to present the award to the best Sun Silk student. The student of the year, as we would call him or her. It is a her this year. I was told earlier on this evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Ramani Fernando Sun Silk Hair and Beauty Academy, the best Sun Silk student of the year 2018 is Dilhani Priyadarshani. S.M. Dilhani Priyadarshani is the best Sanskrit student of the year. Congratulations to you. And this young lady, she applied from Piliandala, I was told. She has no father. She comes from a financially challenged background, if you know what I mean. And this is her luck and her hard work. And now I'm told she will be absorbed 
into the Ramani Fernando, the family of salons. And this is the young girl. Yes, your applause, all of you. Let's hear it for the Salsilk Student of the Year 2018. Let her cry her tears of joy. We're so happy for her. SM Dilhani Priyadarshani. I'm with Michael right now. Michael, how was your evening? Really good. Exciting. And obviously, it's definitely been a, an amazing show. It's, it's long and it's beautiful. Like, what did you think about everything? What was your favorite part? <laughs> Actually, in an era where there are so many shows nowadays and you see different caliber of shows and all, it's good to come. It's very refreshing to see something like this where you see, I mean, real talent. And you can, as you saw, like the grand champion today was a girl who came who has had felt tough beginnings and a lot of issues but to see that there's actually talent in somebody and that you need to just unearth that engage for and so I think that's what Ramani does all the time she brings out the best in summary so it was really good to see what do you think about Ramani and Sal Sansil the hair and beauty Academy coming in to 13 years now I think out of 13 I worked about eight years with her in the Sansil things with her it's nice to see, as I said, you know, there's, it's a different caliber, a different level, the whole, you know, the graduation, the, uh, the finished products that you see, the hair, all that, you know, you see something totally different. At times, you know, we don't waste our time even going to some of these things because it's, it's not, you know, the ladder of success is trying to walk up, you know, to move up. And then you want to go and see new things and new trends and also when you come to a place like this, even us, we do learn a lot here. I'm with Munaza right now. Munaza, how's your evening? Very good, thank you. And uh, you look lovely. Awesome. So do you. <laughs> so how are you? How is everything tonight? I know it's a big night for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so Sansilk, I mean, as you know, is a brand that's well known amongst our young girls because it's a brand that's been um, giving across different types of shampoos there for their various hair care needs. But apart from you know just giving out shampoos to Sri Lanka, we've also done other things. We've also helped to uplift the whole hair and beauty care industry in Sri Lanka. And one such way we've done that is our partnership with the renowned beautiful beautician Ramani Fernando. So the partnership with Ramani Fernando, while it's gone across many years, one of the key things in it is this Sansa Ramani Fernando Hair and Beauty Academy. And uh, through this academy, we've helped to um, uh, aspiring young uh, uh, beauticians, aspiring young beauticians of want to be and um, hairdressers uh, to learn all the skills that they need from, from both hair and makeup um, and, and yes it's been on for about 13 years so today is actually the graduation of the 13th year there's about 200 to 300 students graduating today so wishing them all the very best actually yeah <laughs> and that's the end of a beautiful evening right here at the Hilton Colombo and we witnessed so much and such a big milestone for a lot of the students here at the Ramani Fernando Sun Silk Hair and Beauty Academy so next time around you're going to catch me on high events with me, Tasha Sejal.